everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing? Oh, you see my mouse? <laughs> That's my mouse. Anyways, um, we're going to move that out of the way. I just come on because... <clears throat> pardon me today it's time to do our book review all right um, this is my actual journal so I'm just gonna move this off to the side and this is the book we're gonna be reviewing today it's called no excuses art journaling making time for creativity Gino Rossi Armfield now this book um, I got this quite a while ago. I'm not sure where. Probably on half.com because that's normally where I get all of my art books. This book, I, I've sat down and I've read it. And it's so funny that I chose this book for this month because I have my own personal journaling that I do. And I want to change up the way my personal journaling is done. Um, and I'm currently almost to the end of a journal. Now, just I'm going to show you real quick. This is my personal journal. Um, I have been using a small composition notebook and what I do is I do a lot of writing but I also do a lot of memory keeping in here um, all right just to give you an idea and I showed you this guys this the other day this is a, a room key card that I, I um, altered but anyways I I like doing my journaling this way, my personal journaling, but, in, okay, so here's an idea. I save all my LuLaRue, you know, the stuff that I had purchased, that kind of stuff. So I do basically document my life, um, but I want to do it a little bit differently. I, I want to be able to keep writing, but I want to add more of my art into it. And with this style... Of a book yeah I probably could do that but I'm, I'm looking for something different anyways so this came at a perfect time I only have a couple more pages in this and it's gonna be done so what I want to do is I want to talk to you about this book this book is really really cool and I think it's I think this book is gonna help me take my personal journaling the way that I want to go so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you this is um, like I said no excuses art journaling making time for creativity by Gina Rossi Armfield all right I want to read you this introduction and this introduction right here pretty much says it all and I'm really excited to try this so what it says is I have taught art for years and the biggest complaints I hear are I don't have any time to create or I'm just not the artistic type I'm not a creative person well, I believe we are all creative beings. We just need to unlock that part of our brains. Expressing ourselves creative, creatively reduces stress and helps us to see the world differently. It's a way of seeing color, lines, textures, and patterns. I am a busy artist and the mom of two boys, so I know what it is like to need more time in the day. I decided to come up with a method where people could express themselves creatively whether they had five minutes or five hours. A desk diary is used as the basis of an art journal to capture the moments in your days. This allows you to write down your schedule, journal your thoughts, capture glimpses that inspire you, and document your life. In Chapter 1, you'll learn about all the materials you'll need taking into account your personal style. In Chapter 2 is where you'll set up your journal for the whole year so that you're always, you'll always be ready to art journal. Chapter 3 shows you how to add your own signature style to your journal. In chapter, chapter 4, you will discover ways to draw, use pen, ink, collage, and watercolor. This will give you the skills and techniques that you need to complete monthly, weekly, and daily prompts. Chapter 5 has 12 sections, one for each month. In those sections, you will find a married resources and unlimited inspiration from quotes to prompts to project ideas for each month, week, and day. This book will become your creative Bible, a wellspring, a wellspring to return to on a regular basis when you need to have a little something more. 
Whether you've never picked up a paintbrush or you are a seasoned artist, this method will lead you on a path to creativity. Everyone has five minutes, so if you desire, you have no excuses. Now, that says a lot about this book. There's a lot of information in there. So what she does is she shows you how to set up your journal. She shows you how to create your own stamps. She tells you what supplies you're going to need. Now, you don't have to have everything that's in this book. You don't have to go out and buy every one of these pens. You don't have to have all these pens and these pens and these pencils. That's not what this is about. Um, this is just showing you with limited supplies, you know, you don't have to have five watercolor palettes. You don't, you need one, if that. If you don't like watercolor, don't use it. Um, but it, she's showing you what you need to do to get started She's giving you many different avenues. She shows you how to prep your journal. She shows you how to spice it up, how to make, um, how to make stamps. Uh, she, you know, will give you a monthly task. The in the monthly tasks, it includes an envelope, a beginnings assignment, collage, and writing. And these are not. It's not all prompt based. It's it's um, geared toward you. All right. There's weekly, you make card peaks, photo strips, and then you have daily, a daily word, color, design, and the weather. Now, in the 12 chapters that she was talking about, I'm going to show you the first chapter, which is in um, January. Okay, so here's her January. And she's got January Breathe. She has all these little illustrations here, some colors. Um, in a January insert and you can either take a copy of this and use it or you can scan it I don't know what you'd have to have to do that scanner I want to figure that out because that would be cool to, to it says scan the QR code to download a copy of this insert so and then just print it out I don't know but all right so here's your January source guide she talks a little bit about the month January is the start of the new year. The beginning, the Latin word for January is Januarius. The month was named after Janus, the god of the doorway, and it is a passage into the new year, fresh start. We will look forward to the year ahead, set goals, and make resolutions. All right. Um, I don't do all that, but that's okay. Um, she gives you a word bank. Uh, she gives you little prompts. She says, you know, write and illustrate traditional New Year's um, Day recipe of Hop and John. I have no idea. Draw a crown. Draw a Russian. These are just ideas. Draw some snowflakes. Paint a color palette for snow. Make the resolution list. These are all just, they're, they're not, they're giving you ideas. You don't have to sit down and do every one of these. That's not what this is about. This is about art, learning how to art journal and learning how to art journal your way. Okay? They did have a guest artist every month, and these guest artists will show you what they did with the prompts and how they did it in their own personal journals. This is Jenny Doe. I'm pretty sure we all know who she is. Um, I, I love her creativity. One thing I like about her, and she made a comment, and I think it was in a life book course. She made a comment about drawing the perfect face, the realistic looking face. And at one time, I don't believe she is now, but she was an editor for the Somerset Studio, I believe, Mixed Media Magazine. And, you know, she, would, she was talking about how she would get all these, you know, um, what do you call them? Uh, I, people sending stuff in. All of these different types of art. And she said it was, it was so um, difficult to see, oh, she drew all the perfect face. This person drew the perfect face. This one drew the perfect face. So what she said is, so what? Show me something outside the box. And that's what really intrigued her. And I'll tell you, when she said that, that has stuck to me. So it, it, you don't have to draw the perfect realistic face. You don't have to do the perfect realistic drawing in your daily journal. It does not have to look like a bird that came out of the, um, you know, the North American bird encyclopedia. That's not what it's about. It's about finding your own way, finding your own style, and just enjoying the the journaling, you know, the, the, the task of journaling. Um... Like I said, I've been wanting for a while now to do my journaling a little bit different. Right now, I'm basically doing like a, 
you know, sticking down and writing and writing, you know, this is how my day went, blah, 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 blah. I want to do something different. So this book really is calling to me. Like I said, each month um, there's different artists that show you how they, they did their month. Um, and see, they're not all full of writing. They're not all full of, um, you know, taping down every movie ticket or... I mean, there's there's different ways to do things, okay? She did, you know, her daily color. Um, you know, she, just an idea, a little sentence about what she did that day. They're all different. This one was more into the, you know, the painting and the drawing of a design each day. This is a darker palette. There's, a, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? So, what I wanted to say is this... This book, if you don't know how to art journal and you want to get into art journaling, and I'm talking about art and journaling, okay? There's a big difference between an art journal and art journaling. Art journaling, to me, is where you're going to write. You're going to put more of you into it. And art journal is where I go just to make art, all right? That's my interpretation of it. So... Check out this book, um, No Excuses Art Journaling, Make Time for Creativity, and I think it's full of a lot of really useful information and really easy techniques and things that we can do um, to make our own art journals uh, more personalized, yet still full of art, okay? All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this book review. I am having a blast doing these. I am learning a ton. Um, I'm taking what I'm reading and I'm putting it over into other areas. Uh, let me just show you real quick. This was last month's book um, that we talked about. Whoops. <laughs> and this, this is the result of the book review that I did last month. I am just... This is a Canson um, mixed media notepad, and I have just really enjoyed playing in this. Um, I can't remember the name of the book now, but it was with the two guys. And I'm just, I am having a blast. There's a bunch of letters I put down. Uh, just playing in this. So, you know, there's so many different inspirations, so much different inspiration out there, and things to do and ways to do them. Um, you know, enjoy it. Enjoy. Pick up a little bit out of each and every book and make it your own. All right? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. And we'll talk to you again. Have a good day. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um... And as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!